Well, hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. Uh, last time we gathered a sunstone, and I believe now we have to head back to Rabinaster. Hey, it's the Cartographer's Guild. The Kupo, the Moogle that we were looking for uh, earlier. Let's see, the dry should last a while longer, but take care during the rains. Those big lightning balls don't mess around. Um, one, two, three, four was my guild, but yeah, we'll, we'll buy a map. We obtained Giza Plains. So. I didn't really need to buy that, I'm pretty sure, considering the fact I had almost everything mapped out. The only areas I didn't are the areas that are black right now. Which are dead ends, most likely where uh, monsters are located that we'll be hunting down, which also reminds me. Um, let's see. I think we just go north. I don't know. I'm kind of lost as to where we are. It's been a couple days since I recorded. But it also reminds me we need to go back to the guild. In order to accept some more quests. Um, also, I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll show you guys the BC area. Um, let's see. It's not something that I'm going to actually read on camera, but I am going to probably read it off camera while things are encoding or videos are saving. It gives a little bit of backstory and history on the uh, various things that you encounter, I guess, the monsters, um, the marks that you encounter, and the more of them you kill, the uh, apparently more information you unlock. Like, we've killed enough hyenas now to unlock page two. Which isn't actually about hyenas at all. It's 40 of 78, and it's information about Lowtown. So my guess is that each of these monsters obviously have a random factoid about something, and you have to farm and grind enough of them in order to figure out information that may actually be important, you know, developing the world. I don't know. One of the things Square's uh, fallen in love with doing with these games is mm, just putting shit tons of really important information in lore sections and encyclopedias. Because that's what draws me into a game. It's having to really go and dig for the information. That's supposed to make me care about the fucking characters. I also read in the guide that holding L2 will lock the camera to your current encounter, which I have a feeling is going to be incredibly useful for me to know during boss fights. Or if I remember, things are not always as smoothly as just pressing A to attack and standing back. Uh, I'm not going to actually save it this time. So, we could go down there and speak to that one creepy guy, but... I really want to go to the guild and turn this in, get our reward, possibly see what the next quest is. Uh, I'm not going to hunt down every single monster and mark that is placed uh, on the board in this game. But, I will do some. I think... That is not where I need to go. Map this fucking game. Confuses the hell out of me, and I blame the, um... Goddamn camera. There we go. We have to go down this wee little side alley in order to get to... This little corner of the world. We could probably go to Miguelo's and see if he's got any quests or information for us. Okay. For a second, for a second I thought that shield might have meant Guild Hall or something. But no, we actually gotta go to the pub. Who are you? Have you always been here? Innocently walking past the sand sea I was, when a sudden thirst seized me. But I ain't a-going in. Got to save me, Gil. Save whatever you want to save. I am going to go in here with a little bit of self-control and walk out with more money than when I entered. Probably. Where's that board at? Hey, the barkeep. 
Never hurts to keep a close eye on the notice board. At worst, you can look over your current hunts, and at best, you may find a new one. I believe... It's not this guy. Uh, food and drink and other nonsense. It's this guy, Tomaj. Ah, Vaughn. You defeated that rogue tomato, did you? I was worried you might not be ready just yet, but I guess you did a fine job of it. So here, what's your bounty for completing the hunt? Three hundred gil, two potions, and a teleport stone. You followed through on that hunt like a real professional. I'm gonna let you in on a little something to help you along. Do you ever notice a Banga standing watch in front of a building in the north end? It might be worth your time to pay him a visit. Show him the clan primer I gave you. He'll let you inside. As for what's there, you'll just have to go see for yourself, Vaughn. Okay. <clears throat> Dexterra, rank one. It's a mutant wolf. Gatsley is the petitioner. Seek brave souls for slaying a fearsome beastie. My future rests on your swift response. My name is Gatsley. Seek me in the Sand Sea Tavern. Yeah. We found probably right where we're at. Bastion. Gatsby, if I was a Gatsby. Where would I be hiding at? Barkey. Salted Imperial. Look, their gill is just as good as anyone else's while they're here. Are they not gonna have their name? Uh, how'd your hunt go? Blah, blah, blah. Do we know the Tavern Master's name? Apparently his name is Tavern Master. Gatsley. You were squatting too low for me to see. You saw my bill. Uh, my bill to hunt Dexterra? Well, guess what? I own a shop over in the bazaar, but times have been tough. So I put in an order for some new goods, hoping to stir up some business. Put up everything I own as collateral against that shipment. The trouble is, this beastie in the Wester Sands has been attacking the caravans. As it happens, my goods are supposed to be arriving by way of the Wester Sand too. If this Thex Terra were to attack, what of my goods? Please go kill him. Sure. He's in the Wester Sand in a region known as the Galtea Downs. The caravan drivers said they were set upon along the cliff wall to your left. Okay. I don't know if we're going to actually go after Thexterra just yet. Probably not. There's a pretty good chance that an actual story quest is going to send me out there at some point now. I think we're gonna backtrack. I wanna go see Miguelo's place. Just chit chat with him for a second, see if anything is going on. Wistful Banga. Really only interested in talking to people who have actual names. Town gossip might have been important. We go talk to you before. I bet the town gossip changes quite frequently. There's actually a lot of people in here. Let's see. What is it you've got bubbling away in that head of yours? Maybe you're planning to sneak into the fate tonight? <laughs> of course you aren't. Even you're not that stupid. Hmph. I don't really care about any of this stuff. Welcome to Miguelo's Sundries. How might I be of service? Do I get any type of family discount? I'm not going to sell any of that stuff. And one of these days, I'm going to end up selling those teleport stones by accident. Just know I will. Got more than enough of everything. I'm disappointed in you guys. You don't have anything that I actually use. What about a Phoenix Down? What are you guarding? The Consul's appointment ceremony may be over, but our regular watch will continue as before. Mind how you behave, street rat. Oh, 
Hearts and minds, boys. We're gonna take this way to get to the low town. Cause I don't feel like A going back and searching for the stairs in the north part of town. And then B trying to find my way through the serpentine maze of the first part. Hmm. This one's blue, huh? save over this one. So you can't teleport from the east gate to the south gate, but you can teleport from the south gate to other gates. So I mean, the south gate crystal was red. Let me see, where's the sewer at? You'll let me in, right? No. You know what, the sewer is probably on the south gate, huh? That's good to know. I probably should have noticed I was in the wrong area as soon as I noticed the crystal was not the same. I thought for some reason they disabled teleporting, perhaps. There's an important cutscene ahead. You can't skip it by teleporting. I'm going to remove that feature. I imagine we'll go to the Wester Sand uh, after the fate tonight. Before, before all that goes down, I need to check my LP. Hello, Lowtown! It's your famous Rat Slayer Vaughn. Wait, LP. 58 and 28. Vaughn obviously has enough to do something with here. Not really interested in accessories. Where is... That wouldn't, that wouldn't be bad. Gain MP after taking damage. I'd rather have after dealing damage. Increases physical attack. If I made a beeline over here, I could boost my attack pretty significantly early on. The damage that increases with successive hits. Hmm. These are things that are good to aim for, like potions restoring more hit points. Damn. Okay, so let's get light armor too. See what that unlocks. Gain MP. Light armor three. I would have to spend forty-five more points. Jeez. And then thirty or fifty to get more physical damage. It's gonna get real pricey real quick. Gain MP after dealing damage. I think we'll take this one. Why not? I might as well. Either is restore more MP. That would be an extremely useful one to have. It's only 20 LP for her. Charge. Restores users MP if the technique fails. MP is reduced to zero. I guess they don't want you spamming that thing. Intercession. I wonder if that's some type of limit break, if that's what that means. So far, I don't like this path at all. It'll be ages before we can get anything useful. Getting MP after taking damage. Increases magic potency. Magic potency. Reduces magic MP cost by 10. So, like... That's why Magic 2, Vox and Poisona. See, if I got this one, then we could either go for gain MP after taking damage, protect and shell, which would be incredibly useful, and then get that. So yeah, we're going down this way. And I don't care if I'm not doing things optimally or if I'm gimping my classes. I just don't give a fuck. I'm not going to follow a guide and min-max any of my character builds here. I'm going to make horrible, hey, poor, snap-of-the-moment mm -hmm. decisions. 
It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. Seem like he's got that under control. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me. Crotch shot. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. If something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. I think she wanted to hear more than that. But Vaughn's sorry, 12. Vanilla. Man, he's sorry. He can't properly express himself. Vanilla leaves the party. For good, bitches, because she dies tonight, okay? Spoiler alert, she's gonna die right in front of Vaughn in his arms. It's the only way to get some character development out of him. Oh, so you've got a sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give the crescent stone back its magics like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Slaughterhouse Two 5. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. Where is no, it? you'll take the left door down into the Garam Scythe waterway. Man. The waterway leads to a stair. The stair to the palace cellars. That's sight in That's name. your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Really? Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important. Let me record and not them, to okay. be forgotten. Do you understand? Yes, I'm recording. Go ahead. The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Can't you just tell me to put the fucking stone in it? I mean, Very you're not well. cryptic at all. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> Are you saying I should go grind levels? Because that was cryptic, if that's what you're hinting at. That's how it's done. Let's see if he has anything else to say. No, I've got it. Yeah, yeah, I know. If I get caught, everyone that cares about me will be hurt even more, blah, blah, blah. My actions have consequences. Beneath Rabanaster. I didn't know it was going to instantly teleport me here. That's kind of cool. Squads 3 through 6 are in place. They stand ready. What? So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. Oh, man. Some shit's gonna go down. It's lightning. God damn it. She's back. Okay, maybe it's not going to teleport us. The thing is, I don't exactly remember where that entrance was at. Oh. Doesn't matter. I'm going to just use my handy dandy cheat map here. See, the reason it's marked isn't because somebody marked it on the map. It's mentally marked in Van's brain. He's been there enough times and killed enough rats. Go all the way up to the next intersection and take a left. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to get through here. Not worried about playing hide-and-go-seek with you kids today. I've got adult things to go do. Like, start... Well, help continue a revolution. Wait, who are you? Hey, Kite's finally got that other door in the storehouse open. I think he's waiting inside for you, Van. That 
fool. What are you selling, merchant man? I'll buy something if you got something good. But you don't, so I'm keeping my money. You're a, you're a business, buddy, not a charity. What is this? Absolute garbage. Someone tell me if I'm doing something wrong with the treasure chest, too. I honestly think there's a mechanic uh, in the game where if you open them later than normal, if you wait until later in the game, they'll have better items, but I could be wrong. Hey, Van! I finally worked out how to get the door on the left side open. I hope there's something down in there besides rats. Not me. I'd much rather just deal with rats than ghosts and demons. Anyways, Kites wants us to sacrifice ourselves first uh, before he goes in. Let's see. One, he needs some special tools, and I've got to go play a fetch quest. Not the most exciting to do, is it? Don't mock me with your shitty quest, Kites. Oh, good. He's just messing with us. I like you a little bit more, Kites. I was gonna go on a rant. About how an hour into Final Fantasy VI, you were fucking running from Kefka already. An hour into four, you had bombed a town and were on the run from the Imperials. Two hours into this, and I was gonna be fetching tools to open a door. I had already ran it all through my head in that little brief moment. Ah, oh, game. Cock blocked. It's open! Now we've got a whole nother place to explore. Oh. And I almost forgot. Take these with you before you go. No telling what's down there. Might come in handy. Potion and eye drops. I did almost buy eye drops from the traveling merchant. I'll probably regret not buying them. <sighs> I really need a save stone. I'm gonna end this video soon. And then go on to record probably another four or five more tonight. It's gonna be a very laid back, relaxed night. Low town with a save crystal right here. So, yep, gonna save it, and whenever we come back, we're going to progress through the demon haunted sewers from hell here, apparently. Probably just filled with rats, whatever.